When you ask yourself what is the greatest threat to human existence, you probably think of nuclear war, global warming, or a large-scale pandemic. But assuming we can overcome such challenges, are we really safe? Life on our little blue planet seems safe as long as we are not aware of what is lurking in space. The following 10 cosmic disasters are just a few of the ways in which humanity could be seriously endangered or even wiped out. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let's begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. Gamma Ray Burst As the name suggests, gamma ray bursts are very strong bursts of lethal gamma radiation. Their origin is not known, but they are thought to be caused by colliding neutron stars or black holes. Normally, the energy of a star is released in many forms. In a neutron star collision, the two magnetic fields combine. This releases a large amount of energy in focused gamma ray beams. The release can be so strong that it produces a burst of light halfway across the universe that can be seen from Earth. So how lethal are gamma ray bursts? Well, that depends on how far away they are and whether you're caught in the line of fire. Most gamma bursts are harmless once they reach us. But scientists believe that every 5 million years, there's a gamma ray burst that could be powerful enough to hit Earth. It could very well be the end of our ozone layer and of life on Earth. Solar Expansion In the center of our solar system, there is an extraordinary small star. It's close enough to prevent the oceans from freezing, but just far enough away to prevent them from turning into deserts and boiling through us. As remarkable as the star is to us, it is actually just a normal yellow dwarf star in its main phase of life. During this stable phase, hydrogen atoms in its core fuse to form helium atoms and produce the solar radiation that illuminates and heats our planet. Unfortunately, as with all good things, this must end. At about 4.5 billion years, our sun has only half of its hydrogen left. When the fuel runs out, the core of the sun shrinks, causing the outer layers to be pulled inwards by the stronger gravitational force. To remain stable, the core temperature of the sun rises and the outer layers expand. Eventually, the sun will expand into a new stage of life, the red giant, which will vaporize the oceans, burn humanity to a crisp, and eventually devour the Earth. A Solar Storm Imagine waking up tomorrow and the power is off. Not only that, there's no way to turn it back on. The entire power grid has burned out, and it could take days, months, or even years to fully repair. Well, as unlikely as that sounds, it's very possible. A solar storm is any eruption on the solar surface. They don't usually affect the Earth, but sometimes they release enough magnetic energy to move along the sun's magnetic field to our own. This is called coronal mass ejection, or CME, and can cause a number of strange events, mainly electrical surges and power failures. In 1859, a huge solar storm, the so-called Carrington event, did just that. The damage was minor, but physicist Patricia Reif believes that the same storm today would have huge consequences for modern infrastructure. It could possibly plunge entire continents into darkness. The loss of the moon. The moon moves away from the Earth every year at a speed of 3.1 centimeters or 1.5 inches. Although it is impossible for it to move away completely, the question arises, what if our moon were to disappear? Imagine that, a huge Earth-destroying asteroid flies in this direction but hits the moon instead. What would happen then? Well, as the strongest gravitational force nearby, the moon's dust would reform and collect in rings around the Earth, just like the dust storm of Saturn. Meteorites would break open these rings, constantly hitting the Earth's surface and destroying everything in their path. The loss of the Moon's gravitational pull 
would also have terrible effects on climate and weather. The tidal resistance of the moon slows down the rotation of our planet. Without it, the days would become 10 hours long and the Earth would tilt another 60 degrees, which would throw our stable seasons into turmoil. Asteroids Every day, the Earth is covered by dust and stones falling from space. Fortunately for us, most of it will burn up in the atmosphere. Unfortunately for the dinosaurs, every few million years an asteroid the size of a small town arrives. 66 million years ago, a 10-kilometer long asteroid crashed to the surface of the Earth, creating a crater 177 kilometers long that devastated our climate. Although it is unlikely that an asteroid would destroy the planet, NASA researchers believe that anything longer than 2 kilometers could have devastating consequences for civilization. Just enter 4179 Tautatus in Google once. This 4.1 kilometer long asteroid often flies past a number of planets, including the Earth. Although the probability of collision is low, the asteroid's chaotic orbit makes it impossible to predict its trajectory. The next close encounter with Earth is scheduled for the year 2069, so we hope that NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office is up to the task. Colliding Galaxies Few things in this list are guaranteed, but this one is a bullseye. The Andromeda Galaxy is hurtling through space at 110 kilometers per second. In 4 billion years, it will collide with our own Milky Way leaving a trail of gas and stardust in its wake. Some stars will be destroyed in the head-on collision. Others will be ejected completely from their galaxies. The resulting back and forth of the two galaxies, which will be torn apart and then dragged back together, will eventually end up in a supermassive black hole at the center and the birth of a whole new galaxy. Goodbye Hydrogen as the universe ages into its golden years, the cosmic landscape will look very different. Just like our sun, the majority of stars in the universe will burn slowly through their fuel and eventually disintegrate into nothing but carbon. Larger stars will become supernovae, or perhaps even neutron stars or black holes, but even these will evaporate and reform to form smaller stars with the same fate. Once all the free hydrogen is used up, there will be no more fuel to generate new stars, and the universe will be left in total darkness. It will also be below freezing, at negative 273 degrees Celsius, or absolute zero, to be exact. No life could survive in these conditions. Fortunately, by that time, we will all have disappeared for billions of years. Displacement of Magnetic Fields The molten iron core of the Earth generates a remarkable magnetic field. This plays a decisive role in the navigation of the species and protects us from the harmful radiation of the sun. Every 200,000 to 300,000 years, the poles shift and reverse the Earth's magnetic field. What we know as the magnetic north pole becomes the magnetic south pole. Since 800,000 years have passed since the last magnetic reversal, another one is about to take place, but unfortunately, not immediately. In fact, the reversal is extremely slow and takes up to 10,000 years. During this time, the magnetic field moves around the planet, temporarily creating smaller magnetic poles that are scattered around the Earth, weakening its overall strength and exposing us to DNA-destroying radiation. If the magnetic field disappears completely, the consequences will be devastating. Shooting Stars a shooting star usually refers to the glowing gas trail left by meteorites when they burn up in the atmosphere. But there are also real shooting stars. That's right, there are burning balls of gas that fly freely through the universe. And that's when the speed of a star is so great that it can leave its galaxy and fly freely through the universe at tens of thousands of kilometers per second. These giant balls of gas burn through everything that gets in their way and destroy the delicate balance of the planetary orbits they pass through. Fortunately for Earth, only about a dozen of these hypervelocity stars have ever been discovered. 
the chances of actually encountering any of these stars in our vast universe are tiny. Of course, that wouldn't stop it from annihilating us if it decided to shoot through our solar system. Alien Invasion What is the current evidence of an alien invasion? Spaceships in the Baltic Sea, personal accounts of alien abductions, and the claims of former Canadian Defense Minister Paul Hellyer that at least four alien species live among us. However, given the assumption that most suns come with a solar system of planets, that solar systems are clustered into galaxies, and that there could be up to 200 billion galaxies in the universe, it seems almost far-fetched to believe that we are the only intelligent life form that exists. Some of the world's best scientists, including Stephen Hawking, proclaim that extraterrestrial life exists. In fact, there has been a real rush to contact them in the last five years, but Hawking talks about the dangers of contacting a society whose intentions we know nothing about. A civilization that reads one of our messages could be billions of years ahead of us and far more powerful. If history has taught us anything, it is that the less advanced people are far worse off in war. The end of mankind on Earth is a matter of course. It is something that we cannot change, just as our life has a certain beginning and a certain end. This is what defines us and makes us realize that the only thing we can do is to make the best of our time on Earth, especially when we know that the Earth needs a careful balance to sustain humanity. So, instead of looking up into the night sky and wondering what will kill us next, we could rather marvel at the depth of space, the wonders it contains, and the sublime nature of the universe. Let space inspire you. It offers future and meaning. How do you feel about it? Leave us a comment below.